alcohol, candy, chips. You know what I'm saying? All that, all that bullshit, man. And and jacking the prices up on everything for convenience, because it's a convenience store. And and my brothers just did a video how they was over there and uh <clears throat> somebody was doing a video about uh um uh, god what's that place called where you go check out art a museum oh, okay. is in a museum and they had pictures of jake with animals yeah, yeah, yeah. next to animals yeah. oh the brother uh Iowa did the, sent us a video about that yeah it was on Rome Star. man had a picture of uh Jake with his mouth open next to a gorilla. Jake over it, like, just comparing us to animals. That's the disrespect of these damn gooks, man. Yeah, a lot of them pictures wasn't was an actual picture rights. A lot of them pictures was hand mice, too. yeah. But you know that's the that's the way they feel about uh, the darker, the darker races, yeah. the darker darker nations. You know. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, even even of his haughtiness and his pride and his wrath. But his lies shall not be so. Right? His lies shall not be so. Dr. Kim, shut up, bro. You don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. You know, you cut, uh, you know, you you coming against something that you ain't got no business even talking about. You know, go check Buddha out. Uh, you know, go go deal with your deities. You know, you ain't got nothing to do with the scriptures. Nothing to do with, with the most high. Mm -hmm. You know, who you call God. And then ignorantly call God and ignorantly call Jesus. This ain't got nothing to do with you. You know, stay in your lane, Dr. Kim. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, next. Uh, 14. 14. Yeah. This is Isaiah 16 and 14. But now Yahweh has spoken, saying within three years, as the years of an hireling, and the glory of Moab shall be contemned uh, with all that great multitude. And the remnant shall be very small and feeble. Right, because China's one of the biggest, <laughs> biggest nations. So much so that they gotta you know, stop people from having children, because they can't support them. Right, they got they got so many damn people in China. They're, they're they got like a, a million man army. Right, but it says that the, at the end they yeah, shall. It's not actually like a million, but right, right, right. It's, it's up there, though. Right, you know they got one of the largest military forces in the world. Yeah. Right, just in numbers doesn't mean that they, you know, that good and all that. But in numbers, they got numbers because that, you know, they there's a lot of people in China, and uh, it, the scriptures say that they shall be brought very small yeah. and, and feeble. So when these missile come, missiles come. Because of the part that Moab played in our destruction uh, back in the day mm -hmm. and now, because they came up against us and tried to get us to uh, uh, take, uh, they tried to make a covenant with us saying that if we took out our right eye, that they would leave us alone, right? But that that's not a, um, you know, that's not a righteous uh, uh, treaty, right? Because they knew that we, we were most, most Israel's right-handed uh, the brother Michael Oliver in LA was going in it, into it. Shalom to that brother, and the water for the beautiful lesson. Um, that you know, most brothers is, is right-handed, so that's the hand you swing your sword with. So they ain't gonna see the blow of the other sword coming, right? They just they was trying to be, you Crafty. know, yeah, they was trying to be haughty and, and proud and wicked, man. And they gonna have to pay for that, and they gonna have to pay for how they treat us now. Mm -hmm. You know, trying to look at us like we're not even worthy to walk this earth. Yeah, and another, uh, there's another scripture that mentions that uh, Moab hasn't been emptied from vessel to vessel, meaning they're still in in that same piece of land. They haven't gone from captivity to captivity, mm -hmm. being moved around from this piece of land to that piece of land. So, okay. with that, with that being the case. They've they they've been able to accumulate uh, such numbers, yeah. you know, and they got a large a large uh, a large country, you know, and and they've been able to accumulate a large uh, a large population. But via World War Three, like the brother was saying, that that nuclear fire, all right, and and uh, fire from the chariots and the, the men of the Lord that actually get that spiritual power and go over there and whoop their ass. That's right. Uh, th their numbers is going is going to dwindle drastically. <laughs> yeah, you know? just enough to wash them pots, mm -hmm. cook them noodles. Um, 
And, you know, a lot of people's defense will be like, oh, they were slaves in America. That's bullshit, man. They got paid for what they came over here and did. Mm -hmm. They were given lands and stores and, you know, able to sell their uh, opium and, and do what they wanted to do here. Yeah, they, it was hard work, hard labor, but they wasn't getting whipped in their back if they didn't, you know, lay enough track. Mm -hmm. They wasn't getting uh, they women raped and, and murdered and their children so, sold as harlots and, and, and you know, this kind of wickedness wasn't coming upon them when they were here doing that indentured service ship. They got paid for what they did. That was part of how China, um, China was actually using their people to come over here because they were getting a, a sum of that money. Like it may not have been the people that were here, but they were still taken care of. But China benefited from the railroad uh, system that was put here in the, in the United States. Jake, uh, the so-called Negro or the so-called uh, Latino or, or Native American was not compensated for their work. Mm -hmm. There's a difference in that. That was not slavery. That was uh, indentured servitude. Right. Uh, next scripture. Uh, let's go to Jeremiah. Um, I'm not actually. Let's just skip that and go to uh, Zephaniah. Zephaniah. We'll get up out of here. I don't want to make this too long. All right, Zephaniah two, two and nine. Two and nine. Zephaniah 2 and 9. This is the future uh, judgment of you damn Moabites. Mm -hmm. And oh man, before we get out of here, I also want to touch on, I just read an article that an Ammonite woman, uh, all her babies was found on a, on a rooftop in, uh, in concrete. And she turned herself in uh, because she, she killed all of her kids that she had because she was too poor. To, she claimed that she was too poor to take care of them. So she put them in concrete. She put, she killed them, and, and, and they couldn't tell how oh. she killed them. They it was unknown, but she buried them in concrete and put them in pots on on her rooftop. <laughs> pots. <laughs> <laughs> so these wicked ass Ammonites and Moabites, man, they got hell to pay. Yeah. But go ahead, huh? well, can show. <laughs> Therefore, as I live, said Yahweh of hosts, the power of Israel. Mm. Surely Moab. Wait, the power of who? Israel. The power of who? Israel. <laughs> the power of Israel. Yeah. Not you fucking gooks. Salaki for my language again. Not you gooks. Not you chinks. Not you wash pots. Not you uh Epicantic poles. Yeah. Not you uh squint squinty eyed quilos. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not not y'all. The power of Israel. Not you Edomites. Uh -huh. Not you Elam mites. You uh, Indians, you East Indians. Not you Ishmaelites, not you uh, Arabs, right? N not Ham, not you Africans, right? The power of Israel. Salaki, so like uh, Bob, go ahead. Therefore, as I live, saith Yahweh of hosts, the power of Israel. That's right. Surely Moab shall be as Sodom. Ooh! And. Did you know what I'm no, hey, shall be as Sodom. And if you do your history on what happened to Sodom, Go ahead. Huh? It's, it's, it's sulfur. It's, it's sulfur All pits sulfur. over there. Yeah. You know, that, that fire that came from heaven and yeah. totally destroyed that place. You can't grow any vegetation over there to this day. You know? Uh, and the children of Ammon as Gomorrah. Ooh. That's Moab. So-called Chinese. Ammon. So-called Japanese. All right? Shall be as Sodom and Gomorrah. Even the breeding of nettles and salt pits mm, right that's a uh, uh, so salt pits um, is like a mine right mm -hmm. Go ahead. like it's, that's that's what the terrain is gonna be likened yeah. onto like nothing but nettles and salt pits man you know like a desert yeah, a desert yeah. yeah and a perpetual desolation mm, desolation desolate yep. a root word nothing desolate is. Right? Nothing. <laughs> That's right. Ain't gonna be nothing there. Cause guess what? You're gonna be close to, to the kingdom being slaves mm -hmm. and, and doing your duties that you, we got planned for you. Don't trip. We got some we got some nice things planned for you, Moab and Ammon. Mm -hmm. You know, for the way that you treated our people. We got some we got, we got some cool we got some nice little things for you to do. Don't trip. We got some exclusive slave uh, slavery. Exclusive, exclusive slavery. slavery. And your women, they're going to be well taken care of. They're going to love it. <laughs> and they going to love it. Uh, Abarat is always part of that number, yeah, not Abarat to get, uh, you know, too cocky. But, yeah. yeah.
the residue of my people shall spoil them and the remnant of my people shall possess them. Ooh, the remnant. That's that 144,000 elect and the, and the one third is going to possess you. Now, you want to say there's no slavery in the scriptures? God is love, right? What is that? What does that mean? Come on, Dr. Kim. Uh, what, Kim? Kim. Break that down. Dr. Kim Jong-un. Yeah. <laughs> Break that down, right? It says you shall be possessed by the remnant of his people. Possessive, uh, possessive uh, word there, his people, which he said earlier, the power of Israel, mm. right? And it's the, his remnant, right? The elect shall possess you. So you can keep on being proud and keep trying to come up against the men of the Lord, right? But our elders are, are well, well trained in this. Like you think you well trained in martial arts? Yeah, through the spirit. Through the spirit, our elders are well trained in, in these scriptures. So, uh, yeah, through the spirit. So, uh, any, anything left on that uh, scripture? No, that, that, no, that, was was it. It. that was it. So, with that, we're going to wrap it up. And, uh, you know, we just want to say shalom. 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 Lord willing, this was edifying. Yeah, Lord willing, this was edifying. Shalom.